Dear experts and scholars, I'm a student of Beijing University of Technology. I want to share this paper with you, an adaptive slice taptization algorithm for HEVC based on local luminance histogram. The report is divided into four parts. Firstly, I will introduce it from three aspects research background, research status, and research target. With the continuous development of multimedia technology, videos with high definition, high frame rate, and multi-video viewpoint have been widely used in video conference, security monitoring, live broadcast, and other fields. These technologies have resulted in an explosion of actual data, thus presenting more formidable challenges in video storage and transmission and their limited resources to video compression. As is shown on the left, it shows that with the adoption of five generation, video applications are expected to account for 74% of mobile data traffic by 2024. The bar chart on the right shows the amount of video required to watch an average of 5 minutes per month for videos of different resolutions. Since the late 1980s, ITOT and ISO IEC have issued a series of international standards on video coding in order to meet the needs of involving video applications and achieve greater comprehension efficiency. ITU and ISO formed the JVT established the Advanced Video Coding in 2003 and HEVC for HD video was officially promulgated in 2013. Mainly for 4K at 8K video services, VVC was released in July 2020, and it is the latest video comprehension standard. Compared with the previous each generation, standard can save nearly 50% bitrate under the same comprehension quality and obtain higher compression performance. However, the introduction of new technologies such as partitioning structure, quartry coding structure for coding unit, and more decision makes the coding complexity increase significantly. At the same time, AVS, Google, and other companies are also developing their own video coding standards. In order to effectively in order to effectively enhance the compression efficiency of HEVC and improve the practical many domestic and foreign enterprises and the scientific research institutions take the standard technology of HEVC as the starting point to carry out research. The open source encoder X265, based on HEVC, is an efficient video encoder for practical industrial scenarios, which significantly reduces the encoding complexity by utilizing many accelerating methods. According to the definition, definition of the slice type of each frame in the video sequence by HEVC. Frames can be divided into IPB, GPB frames, and the corresponding coding efficiency is shown in this table. Noticeably, GPB frame that references its previous two frames replaces P frame in the low delay mode. Due to the reference relationship between video frames, distortion will be transmitted through the relationship. So, IPB-GPB frame 
have a huge impact on coding efficiency. We know that iframe is usually determined according to the result of scene change in the video sequence and the interval of iframe required by the business scene in encoders, and the rest of the frames in the video sequence should be divide, decided into GPB frame or B frame. Under the premise of, un, of controllable coding complexity, the efficient decision of slice type of video sequence can effectively improve the coding efficiency. There are three kind of scene change detection methods, mainly based on motion estimate, rate distortion cost, and the global luminance histogram. The motion estimate depends on the accuracy of MV, has the limited detection efficiency. As for the RD cost, the performance is excellent, but the Coding complexity is high. The luminance histogram reflects the frequency of each luminance level in the image, and different frames have different luminance histograms. The detection accuracy is low, but it can down the coding complexity. We can decide the type of video frames according to the luminance histogram differences. There are mainly two kinds of methods for deciding GPB frame and B frame. First is the fixed GPB B frame decision. It has the low coding complexity, but it cannot further improve the compression performance according to the temporal characteristics of each video sequence. And the second is the adaptive GPB and B frame decision. The computational complexity is high, but it can adaptively adjust the milligob size according to the temporal characteristics, and it can achieve higher coding efficiency. As for our research target, with the standard technology of HEVC at the start point, starting point, the research work is focused on the high compression ratio rate coding technology. The compression efficiency of HEVC is further improved without significantly the, increasing the calculation cost. The compression efficiency of the encoder is guaranteed and the computational complexity of the encoder is reduced inspired by the low computational complexity of luminance histogram and the strong correlation of video sequences. We propose the adaptive slice type decision algorithm based on local luminance histogram through uh, analyzing the degree of interframe content variation our method can improve the efficiency of video coding while reducing the algorithm complexity. The second part is our main content of research. This is the flow chart of our method. For global luminance histogram, we can find that when scene switching occurs but the overall brightness changes little, the global brightness histogram is the distribution of the two frames is almost the same except for a few brightness difference in frequency, which may cause missed detection. But uh, the local luminance histogram compared with the global histogram, there are great differences in the brightness distribution of it. We propose the local luminance histogram to make up for the lack of special information in the global luminance histogram. 
This paper takes C2 as the basic unit to divide each frame of the video into blocks and obtain the corresponding local luminance histogram in order to further improve the accuracy of our method. From the comparison of global luminance histogram differences and the sum of local luminance histogram differences, we can see that the sum of local luminance histogram differences is always larger than the global histogram differences, and the difference is large, which better reflects the special characteristics of videos. So, local brightness histogram can better reflect the special characteristics of video sequence. We determine the current C2 as a content change block by comparing the local luminance histogram difference of CTU at the same position between two frames and the size of the site threshold in this paper in order to avoid the influence of noises and false detections on scene change block. We detect whether there are a certain number of content changing blocks in the neighboring CTUs. And we get the degree of interframe content variation between frames from this formula. In order to further improve the accuracy of our method, we use, it, we use the scene change detection window as the basic unit to traverse the Intel video to detect a frame. We set the size of the window and the step as 5, according to our experience. This figure shows how the detection window moves and the detection process. We set the second frame of the video sequence as the start of the window, and five frames in the window are detected successively from left to right. In each detection, the previous frame of the current frame and P0 outside the detection window are taken as the reference frames and calculate the degree of interframe content variation. After five frames in the detection window are detected successively, there are three possible scenarios for the number of keyframes. So, use the average of the degree of content variation of all keyframes to modify the scene switching frame. In addition, Considering the problem that frequently inserting iframes will result in a sharp increase in bitrate, we introduce flag between windows to smooth the density of iframes. Analyzing the motion characteristics of the video sequence, it can be seen that the content of video sequence with violent motion varies greatly in two successive frames, while the content of the video sequence with gentle motion is almost the same in two successive frames. If the same milligop size is used for videos with different motion characteristics, we can find that the difference in coding efficiency of the two videos will be inevitably large. So, milligop sense has a significant impact on video compression efficiency. Through the study of the relationship, we can use local brightness histogram information and a fixed frame type decision algori algorithm to adaptively adaptive frame type decision. First, travels the videos who, whose iframe has been determined. The video is divided into several milligop according to the milligop size. 
last frames in each minigob are set as GPB frame and the, the others are set as B frame. Secondly, the video is traversed for the second time to realize the rearrangement re from display order to encoding order. In order to verify the performance of the proposed method with the X265, the experimental results are as follows. We compared our method with relevant algorithm in X265 and conducted the experiment on the handwheel config configuration and software. We, select, we selected eight videos with different scenes, switching situations to evaluate the performance of scene change detection. Through the detection accuracy, objective comprehension performance, and coding complexity, we can find that our method greatly reduces the complexity of algorithm and improves the coding performance. As for the performance of GPP and B frames decision method comparison, we select the coding performance and the time of the fixed frame type decision as the anchor. And we Compare the compression efficiency, coding complexity with X265 We can find that our method is achieves good result. And the last part is conclusions. In order to improve the efficiency of HEVC and reduce the complexity, this paper takes the CTU as the basic unit to partition each frame of the video sequence and obtain local luminance histogram and propose an adaptive frame type decision algorithm based on local luminance histogram. First, the, de the degree of inter-frame content variation is calculated according to the difference of local luminance histogram. Secondly, the scene change detection window is used to travel the whole video sequence and the scene change frame is determined by comparing the degree of inter-frame content variation. Finally, the milligob size is adaptively determined through the degree of interframe content variation and the types of frames in the whole video are determined. From the experiment result, we can find that the proposed method can effectively improve the coding efficiency while reducing the computational complexity by nearly 5% compared with the relevant algorithm in X265 and realize the efficient uh, adaptive decision of video frame type with strong robustness. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.